Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a few products that I want to um, share with you that I have been enjoying this last couple weeks. And I wanted to kind of go over them a little bit, tell you a little bit about them, and just kind of show you what I have been liking. So um, I'm going to start with a primer. And this was sent to me through Octoly. And I've been using it for a couple weeks now. And I wanted to try it because of it's a vegan primer. It's from the company 100% Pure, which is vegan. They're cruelty free. Um, this one is gluten free. It's a one fluid ounce. It's or 30 mils. And um, it is a little bit on the pricey side. It's $45, but the reason why I like it is it's not a silicone. Um, it's silicone free. It is a luminous finish. I do have it on as my primer today. And I will tell you that I did my makeup this morning. Um, it was around 7, 7 a.m. And it's about um, 8.15 in the evening now. And I didn't have any problems with my makeup breaking down. I've been using this for a couple weeks and I've very much been enjoying it. It kind of helps to um, fill in the lines and just creates a nice smoothness for your um, foundation to go over. It has some light reflecting pigments in it um, that help to kind of diffuse the flaws in your face. And as you can see, it's just a white primer. It's almost like putting like a thin moisturizer on. Um, and it goes into the skin, it sinks in, it smooths out. And then you wait about 90 seconds after you have smoothed it onto your skin and then you put on your makeup and it has a nice illumination for just a healthy glow to your complexion you can kind of see it right there it's just beautiful it does have a little bit kind of an odd smell but I have found with with this line this 100% pure line um, they like to use aloe in it and I think that's the smell that I'm getting but anyway it's luminous primer vitamins plus antioxidants um, with reserve oh boy I can't say this reservatrol reservatrol which um, is found in wine that's supposed to be um, good for um, anti-aging so yes I have been very much enjoying this and I'm glad that I was selected to receive it and um, yeah really do like that. I mean look at that. It's so pretty and I like it. I'm glad I have it. The next product that I want to talk to you um, about is I did order this from the Melody Cosmetics website and I will tell you when I placed my order I don't know what day it was that I placed it but I'm pretty sure that I received my order from the time I placed it to the time I had it in my hands, it was like maybe 48 hours. I mean, it was like quick. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about is this little guy here. This is $23, and it's the Manio Factory Rose Hip Oil Mist. Whew, okay, y'all know my love affair with anything that smells like roses. And this, my friends, smells like roses. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking awesome. Oh, it smells so good. But anyway, more about just the smell because I love the smell of roses. Um, it just has a very nice rich rose scent. Um, one of the directions was to shake it up just a little bit before using. Um, you can use it in various different ways. You can use it to as a makeup prep. You can use it as an after bath or after shower um, mist to put all over your body to help hydration but the way that I use it is after I get done putting all of my makeup on and have put my setting powder on I will mist my face with this and that helps to just kind of take that makeup or that powdery look down it helps to kind of um, infuse all of the makeup that I've put on kind of together to make it look very seamless and it's very hydrating and nourishing for the skin plus it smells good it's not very expensive it's $23 um, I don't know I can't tell in here what the ounces is on it it is a Korean skincare um, line um, I like this I was really raving about my Mario Podesco um, 
rose water spray but I like this a lot better because it has a little bit it has a lot more moisturizing properties to it um, it has rosehip oil buckthorn oil damask rose oil sunflower seed oil rose oil and um, camellia oil so it is definitely an oil mist um, I don't know if you had oily skin if you would like it but for someone that has mature dry skin this is beautiful and I have to really watch myself and make sure I don't just completely saturate my skin with it in the morning time because um, then it definitely will have an oily look to my face but oh man I love this love this and I have been using it for quite some time now and I'm just to hear because it doesn't take very much because it is a um, an oil but yes I really do like that I like it a lot okay the next product that I have to show you is a Bobbi Brown product and it's this little guy right here um, you can sign up going to the Bobbi Brown website and if it's your first time signing up for her newsletter you can get a 15% off discount code for your first order so if this is something that you might be interested in or it seems like here lately there's been so many different companies having sales like um, Nordstrom, Macy's, um, Lord and Taylor so if you shop around you could probably find this little guy um, on sale um, I had gotten this at the CCO a while back and um, since I've been kind of been not purchasing as much cosmetics I've been going through my stash and have discovered how beautiful that this is oh my gosh this is I guess I should tell you what it is other than that it's from Bobbi Brown it's a highlighting powder and it's in the color pink glow and probably for the last three videos maybe even four videos this is what I have on my cheeks to create this really nice youthful glow oh my gosh it's so pretty and the way I like to apply it is with my Wayne Gauze number no. two brush I just take it and just swirl it all over and then I just start putting it in here kind of go up into the temples a little bit and then onto the the cheeks to kind of smile a little bit make sure you get a little bit on the apples and just like mmm oh it's so pretty it's $42 um, which Bobbi Brown products are a little bit on the pricier side so yes that's why I was trying to tell you different places that you could get you know um, a discount um, but it's just a very luminous high impact light reflective powder as you can see but yet it's not it's not cakey it's not drying it doesn't settle on my fine lines um, it's really pretty on dry skin I think you know um, if you have dry skin not oily skin and I think it's very pretty if you have mature skin like I do um, it just gives a really nice just glow to this to the face I think um, it applies smoothly and evenly there's no patchiness like I showed you with my little brush here it just goes on just so pretty you could even put it here you could put it down the bridge of your nose you could do a little highlighting up in here if you wanted to down in here I don't do a whole lot of that I mainly just kind of concentrate in this area here but, oh this is so pretty it's just a radiant but a very flattering glow to the face as you can see see very pretty okay the next couple products that I have that I want to talk about are from Clinique and particularly with the, this guy here this is a product that I just hauled in the VIB sale um, from Sephora that you would have seen but this is so pretty it's a um, blush from Clinique it's called the cheek pop blush pop and pink honey pop I do have that on as my blush today and here it is in all of its glory um, you can find this at the CCO uh, Sephora I had gotten mine off of the Clinique website because they were doing a 50% off sale on it so I got it very very reasonable um, normally the cheek pops 
um, blushes from Clinique run around um, $23. But it's just a very soft, light to medium pink with warm yellow undertones to it. And I don't know if my swatch, if you'll be able to see it very good. Uh, but like I said, I do have it on as my blush. So that kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like on. I think if you are medium to dark complected, this probably would show up on you. But if you're fair to light to maybe light medium, it's going to show up beautifully. Um, it just leaves a really nice, just a nice soft satiny sheen to the skin. It's very blendable. Um, it's definitely buildable. If you wanted to make it a little bit more impact, you could. And it's lasted me throughout my whole day. And I haven't had any fading, any streaking. And it just looks so pretty. And I'm so glad I have it. Oh, it's so pretty. And to go along with that is this. This is the 8 Pan Eyeshadow Palette from Clinique in Pink Honey. Again, I do have this on. I have this on my eyes, but look at those colors. Okay, now I know that Clinique eyeshadows get kind of a bad rap because they're not the most impact pigmented eyeshadows. Um, I will tell you the eye look that I created today, this morning, I did kind of have to work to kind of build it up a little bit because these are very, um, they're, just, they're just very soft. You can create the most softest natural looking eyeshadow look that is perfect for day to day. Like if say you work in an office that um, maybe it's corporate and you definitely want to wear your cosmetics and you want to look polished and um, but not made up, this is going to do that. This has some shadows in it that are, there's pearl, there's matte, there's frosted and then there's satin shadows. And you can create your whole look. Um, you can use some of these darker ones here as eyeliners like I did today. Um, they're buildable, they're easy to blend. Um, this runs around $36.50, which for an eight pan eyeshadow, I have a hair. That is really a really reasonable price. And like I said, if you go into the CCO, which is a cosmetic company outlet, if you have one of those, you can find these even cheaper than that. Uh, but let me just kind of swatch some of these colors for you. But I have been just so pleased with the wearability, which I will tell you that Clinique was my very, very first grown-up makeup brand that I ever purchased. Um, this was the first step out of the drugstore for me. Um, the first step into department store makeup was Clinique. I started wearing Clinique, buying Clinique when my daughter was just a baby and she's 25 years old. I still use some of the Clinique skincare and I, I don't know. I mean now if you're wanting something that's you know real high impact as far as color payoff then no these are not for you but if you're wanting something very soft natural ladylike to put onto your eyes and create a pretty um, eye look for work for every day this is this is it this is what you want to check out and that's the pink honey clinique eyeshadow pan anyway okay that is it for my favorites. I hope that you have enjoyed and that you enjoy my favorites. I just kind of want to put a little note with this. Um, I don't do favorites every week um, because if there's nothing that I've used in that week that just really stands out to me that, hey, I think you need to go and get or not necessarily you need to go and get, but hey, I like it enough that I want to tell you about it. So that's why I don't do favorites every week. Um, I'm just not going to just pick stuff at random just so I can put up a video. So if I come on here with a favorites video, you know it's something that I'm really, really, really enjoying and I, I wanna share it with you. I mean, you're my best friends and I wanna tell you what I got and what I'm using and excited about. So anyway, thank you again so much for joining. I hope that you subscribe and that you continue to um, wanna stick around, give me a thumbs up. And if you want notification of future videos, just hit on that little bell icon and that way you'll get a notification. Again, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.